Michael Jackson was open for his love for children. But this is the thing, when there's a 10 year investigation on you from the FBI and they find no evidence whatsoever, it's just hard for me to believe that it's actually accurate. My parents, they just have a very specific opinion about me and it's one of like deadbeat unsuccessful, like didn't go to college. If other people, you know, have a, a faith of any kind, like that's fine with me as long as as long as it doesn't infringe on on my rights. Can you imagine committing crimes and then just being like, but he dances. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> okay. Guys, <laughs> All right. you see his hat? That's what I won't do. Okay. I'm gonna step out of here. <sighs> you definitely have done tap. I don't know how to do tap. But I you've don't done know. tap. No, I don't actually. No, not no. even for a show? Not even like No, false I've never tap. had to do tap. Wow. Yeah. But have you done tap? Have I, I've pretended to do tap before. Ian, have you done tap? Have I done like tap, tap dancing? dancing? Yes. Why would I have ever done tap? That's the thing. That he's that's asking hey, me. Bro, like he watch, expects watch me. Watch your smack. Watch your taps. Oh, okay. Sorry. You're tapping. Sorry. The table tap. You gotta. Sorry. Gotta I've take never the table done tap. tap. Ian's never done tap. Have you done tap? I've. I guess I've pseudo tapped one time. I had that to doesn't tap. count. Okay, fine. Then but I have it. Yes, and continue. <laughs> no, you said that doesn't count. Okay. All I right. did. Oh. All right. Let's let's just get right into this. <laughs> Welcome everybody to another episode of Smoshcast. I am your host Ian Hecox, and today who am I joined by? Hold on. Where's my camera? First of all, this the, is the see, that see one? Cam. It's okay. a, Don't even worry about the cameras. Where's the okay. wide? Okay. This is this but is just on me. This is three bros. <laughs> yeah. Broing out. Broing out. All right. So um, we don't do this that often. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm Keith. I'm Noah Grossman. Okay. Now everybody's just gonna be so thrown off. <laughs> oh, great. oh, it is a podcast. I'm so sorry. We in there. You gotta, you gotta start it off without, with without the visuals. Yeah. We need visuals. This is a, this is YouTube. This is all about visuals. But no, it's not this, just on YouTube. This it's is on, on Spotify. All, it's on every single uh, podcasting app that you can possibly think of. Look, but this part is all about the visuals, right? The the what? The, the vegetables. The vegetables. Did did you eat your vegetables? I didn't say that. I said the vegetables. <laughs> oh oh. <laughs> no, I my... said the vegetables. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't gonna do that one. Yeah, I you felt can bad say cursing. the say bitchables. Bitchables. It made me think of like lunchables, but for specifically someone who's like a bitch. I'm confused already. <laughs> this is great. This is gonna be a great start. <laughs> we have um, 74 minutes left to go on this. So <laughs> it's nice to know that um, we're off to a great start. Yeah, I wanted to start with a. A lighter topic <laughs> before getting into all the Michael Jackson okay, stuff. Okay, no. <laughs> I wanted to start on a lighter topic before insert. Look, let's go soft and thing. then go hard. How okay. about that? You wanna you wanna hold off on let's yeah. let's just ease it. Okay, fine. Yeah. Um I ain't talked about this yet. <laughs> so Keith, you took Noah to church. I took him to black church. Yes, oh, I yeah. did. Oh, black church. Yeah, and Noah is Jewish. Are Are you Jewish? So I'm I'm half Jewish, half Catholic. Um, but I'm the type of Catholic and the type of Jew where neither religion actually identifies me as the religion. So mm. to so be an fake. Orthodox Jew, you have to have your mother be Jewish, mm. and to be an Orthodox Catholic, your father has to be Catholic, and I'm reversed. Oh boy, what are you oh. gonna do? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I guess you have to become a Satanist. Yeah. Hey, that's my boy. <laughs> But yeah, Keith took me to a, what is it called? One One Universal? What, no. <laughs> I took him to One Church LA and it was the best experience of his life, right? It was it was pretty no. nuts. <laughs> it was the best experience of your life. The best ex it was the best experience of my life. The go. name of the church makes it sound like it would look like an Apple store from the inside. <laughs> You're really close. Welcome to the One Church. Welcome to the One Church. Is it is it one of those like stadium? Churches? No, actually, it's actually a very like chill. Like okay. I mean, it's a theater, but it's not a stadium. It's yeah. not a like a big. It's not too much. Mm. It's just enough. But it's a black church. Oh, it's black as. F <laughs> this is the thing. Like, do you well, ever do you have like two different churches you go to when you're feeling like you don't want to okay. go to such a black church? Okay, so like I go to a black church. Growing up, I went to black churches, but my dad is a minister of music. He's into the church. Like my whole family's churchy as. F can I say that? Yeah, you <laughs> oh can say God. all those things. <laughs> Are y'all going to bleep me? Uh, on YouTube, we will. But if you're listening to this on any of the podcast apps. Hell yeah. Can listen my to dad's uncensored. a minister. My dad's a minister. Oh. And uh, like he ended up playing for like a, a white, multicultural, big church that had everybody. And uh, like I got the best of both worlds. And you know what? I'm going to be honest. And this is me going for it. I'm going to say something controversial. I learned the most teachings and like beliefs that I have from the white church, believe it or not. But oh. that doesn't mean that the black church is not the sh Okay. Wow. Interesting. That's a lot. Wow. Is that a lot? 
that this is a podcast. You can speak your mind. Yeah, There's yeah. no judgment. At yeah, all. I just I learned some like great teachings that like will help me throughout every day. Interesting. And, so and, what and, what separates it? So there's not, just more lessons at well, no, multicultural no, church. No, no, it's not that there's more lessons. The pastor that actually gave me the wisdom and like the goodness that I like take with me throughout each and every day, not all the time, was actually just said the he said the really that I've ever heard. What what did like, he say? Like you could say the really. This is the thing, if you believe in yourself, believe in yourself, think it, act on it, uh, pray on it, like all of those things. This is the thing, like people call it the secret. It's beyond the secret. Mm. This thing has been around forever. Just believe, Mm -hmm. act on it, pray on it, do your I can't say this and talk about the church. I can't. No, it's fine. I I was curious. It's like he gave you the scientific method of like spirituality. He was like, step one. Make a hypothesis. Step two, pray on it. <laughs> oh, okay. I see where we're going. We're going to fight before the end of no, this. No, not at all. Not oh, at all. I'm a you took you. me to black church, and that was a great experience for me. How, I had never how been. How great? On a scale of one to ten, how great On a scale was of one, I would give that like a solid nine. Like, black church is a straight up nine. If you go to. That's an 11, my. It, you know what? It <laughs> might be an 11. Time. It might be an 11. Thank you. But I've been to three churches in my life. One was a Chinese church. One was a Catholic church in New Jersey on Easter. And then the other one was a black church in Los Angeles. And black church in Los Angeles, oh, my God. They had a live band, four-piece band. They okay. had a guitarist. Nah, they had, like, a six-piece band. Let's be clear. Okay, Keep maybe... it going. Keep it going. Any woodwinds? I no, don't remember. They didn't have you know woodwinds it, it, that It Sunday. does count if you count the vocalists. I don't know why I was only counting the instruments. The um, vocalists count towards the band, Oh, right? bro, they have, like, six singers. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it was oh, crazy. Okay. They had a Talk drummer. They had a drummer doing drum solos in the middle of church. Straight yes. up drum solos. Wait, so like while the guy is giving a sermon, dude, just like. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not how I remember it. But like, I mean, for your. Oh for no, your I remember showing up. <laughs> the outside. The outside looks like a, a movie theater, and and on it, it's like the movie that they're displaying is like today's prayer or something like that. Okay. So you're walking in, and you're like, oh, today I'll check out. You know, three nineteen. <laughs> praise God, whatever it is. <laughs> you're getting, a, little, okay. you're getting a trailer. <laughs> yeah. For, <laughs> Essentially, but this you is the walk first in. time I heard Noah's like side. Yeah, of the we've story. never fully talked about it because mm-hmm. I think we, we both just, just enjoyed it. Yeah, and we also went with your friend Nick, who's also my friend, but mm-hmm. your friend Nick. Uh, and so we go in, and it's straight up a movie theater. There's like mm-hmm. probably enough seats for 400, 500 people, like rows of the a like thousand, movie theater sorry. seats. <laughs> no, it's so comfortable. It's the chairs are so comfortable. Everything is so clean. Mm. It looks like you're on the set of Ellen, except like <laughs> it's all the walls. Like Ellen is probably just one side, you know, and then the uh-huh. audience is sitting in the chairs. No, sure. everything yeah. looks like Ellen. This it is the first clean. time I'm hearing about this. Keep going though. <laughs> it is well lit. It's yeah. amazing. And then there's a band, <laughs> and they're just like jamming out, and they're playing, and. I mean, they're all really feeling the music, and I didn't know when the dude would come out, but he comes out from, like, the side, kind of like you're doing, like, an... Like, we're, we're asking him questions. It just seemed so... Like, it's a boxing match. Yeah, it was he like just Tim Cook uh, came out. I'm about to let y'all play one church. One no, church no, no. It was really awesome. The Let's dude came clear. out. He gave his sermon. It was, like, a solid 30 minutes. And then after that, like, he was like, thank you very much. Like, God bless, whatever. Oh, just and then 30 the band, minutes. That's what I remember. It was I think longer it was a quick than that. He lying. He's a liar. I'm a liar. It's, it's I'm more a dirty than liar. That. It was okay. an hour and Maybe a half. I but don't... it felt like 30 minutes because the word was so good, it touched your <laughs> life. Oh, right there. Oh, blessings. Yes. Holy water. Hold on. Uh, for those listening, uh, Keith is currently blessing us. I'm mm-hmm. telling you guys, I went to church for the last three weeks in a row. I've been going through some things, and I was like, yo, I three need Three weeks I need is that in help. one day a week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do, don't people go to church like every day? No, not the people that I have, no. <laughs> are ch- churches tri- open other Sundays. days? Huh? Are, oh, are churches open other days for prayer? You can, yeah. like, walk in, right? We have a Thursday service. We don't. I'm not necessarily a member there, but I go there for, like, just, like, mm. that's it's how I grew up. It's, like, a part of my mm-hmm. essence. It's a part of my, like, culture. So I go there to get what mm-hmm. I need. Yeah. There's a lot of things, questions that I have within that whole aspect. But beyond that, that's something that I have for me that I do. That sure, I yeah. 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 I'd love only, to go again. I only know, like, when, when you're talking about, like, going, like, just if you can just show up to a church in the middle of the day, I... The only experience I have is from watching like movies where like the dude goes into like the Catholic church, like the killer, like like the hero or something. He's like down on his luck and he like walks into the church in the middle of the day and like sits down in a pew. See? And then the father uh, yeah, comes he's in and he's all like, alone. Yeah, the father comes and he's like, What's troubling your son? That's movie Sorry. church. That <laughs> ain't <laughs> church. Come to black church with me. This is the okay. thing. Everybody has the opportunity but to go if, to black church. But if I'm an mm-hmm. action hero, can I walk in in the middle of the day when I'm down on my luck? Man, you walk in with your Batman suit. You play <laughs> Batman real good. You walk in there, you say, you say Carol or Sharon or whatever. Uh, Rachel. And, and, give, and give God. 
God the glory. I'm telling you, say Jesus. I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, you're going to feel somebody then. I'm telling right. you, come mm-hmm. to black church with me. We should do a blog where we all go to black church. <laughs> I'm telling you, it would change your life. Yeah. This is the thing. Whether you believe or not, you're going to get something out of it sure. that you like. It's just, it's an energy. It's a feel. Mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. it's yeah, it's a, it was super it's nice. It's a community. It's like a that's 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 what all... it is. That's what it should be. First and foremost, Look, it's a community. It's places for. It's a place for people to gather, whether fellowship. you believe in everything or not. Yeah, you know it's, exactly. Look, yeah. we need a, y'all. Look, y'all need a black community. Get up in this. <laughs> y'all need to join the black community. Can you let us borrow your black community? <laughs> no. Like, yeah. Look, y'all invited to the cookout just to see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Speaking seeing... of cookout, this is actually my my biggest question about about these different church experiences that that mm. you have had, Noah, mm. um, because you've you've sampled the platter. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> what it, like who has the best food? Who has the best food? Okay. <laughs> Off of that, the only place that I ate was at a Chinese church, okay. um, and it was a Chinese church out in Los Angeles. My great-grandmother, you know, now deceased, God bless her heart, Ooh, you know, uh, a woman with, uh, I've got different opinions about her, but she was very sweet, <laughs> I'm not doing and it. she would dedicate all of her time to this Chinese church, and um, I don't know why she picked this one, and I honestly think it's because <laughs> your, it was the people who would listen to it. Chinese? She's not Chinese. She has no affiliation <laughs> to China, <laughs> the Chinese people, or the Chinese culture. Mm-mm. Straight up to the point where, like, she is the only one that doesn't speak Chinese there, and <laughs> And like, I was brought there, I must have been maybe nine. I had a PSP and I had Star Wars on my PSP. And I remember being bored. So I like just started walking around and there was like a back area that all the kids hang out. And like, there's just probably like 30, 40 Chinese kids. Um, and we just all started playing on our PSP. And like, we didn't even really talk. Not that they can't speak English. They're obviously like normal humans. We just didn't need <laughs> to talk. Okay. That, okay. Came stop, stop. that came out wrong. Yeah, that came out wrong. That came out bad. so wrong. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I got you. you know what? Thank you. Thank you, you are Keith. Culture. You're what uh, I was trying. Thank you, Keith, for blessing my shoulder. And you know what? For Olivia, like she's gonna love to know that you're not her first. Like you know, mm. she's not your first Asian friend. Exactly. Did you want to move your mic a little bit more over towards? Right here? Yeah. So like Does, is that a little better for it'll you? Make, it'll make me talk into it. Yeah. yeah. Keith, what's it like always being the problem? <laughs> um, oh my god! <laughs> I don't think you want those problems either, Noah. So we're not gonna do that either. <laughs> that <one. laughs> Sorry, so you I didn't only mean that. so what was the food situation? <laughs> oh, at, at the Chinese, Chinese church? church. Honestly, what I remember is a Chinese chicken salad, which I think is not a Chinese dish. Mm-mm. I just think it's something very yeah. easy yeah, to make probably, that everyone yeah. you can you have like said sixty chicken serving and I would have believed you before. Yeah, but that's not what it was. There we go. That's what I'm saying. I yeah. didn't actually expect Chinese food to be at Chinese church. Like it oh, just seemed yeah. like it would be. Mm-mm. It would be. You don't go to church. You ain't never been to church, have you? Um. Okay. So. Yes or no? Yes. I or... went to one Sunday school one time. I had to go because for a while, when my when my grandfather remarried after my grandmother died, uh, that woman was was a was a church going lady. So he thought, hey, yeah, I'll try this. I'll she try this church saved. thing. And yeah. and <laughs> um, so I. I was with them for one of the weekends, so I had to go to Sunday school. And uh, did that you find Jesus? No, I didn't. Oh Jesus! It was uh, <laughs> what I found was was traumatic. Like oh my we God. had we had like this competition to like remember like Bible verses or something, and then for every one that you got wrong, they would pop a balloon. Like you had a series of balloons, and then like if you got it wrong, they would pop a balloon. And I was like, this. The, this Don't, isn't right. You know what, Ian? I ain't going to say it. This sounds like Smosh Summer Games to me, and you sound like you hating. This is the thing. This is a game. You got to play with it. This is the thing. Okay, so they got a balloon. This is a game. Look at it as a game. Uh-huh. A game. So the balloon popping, I don't like balloons. My mom don't like balloons. I don't like them because of my mom, whatever. The thing is, with the balloons go <laughs> Should we up, dig into that? Uh, we can in a second. Uh- do I want to go to the balloons? Well, <laughs> first keep going with you because, I mean... I want to talk about my mom and how she don't like balloons and how I don't like balloons because... Yeah, I don't okay, let's, let's talk about that. Okay, so I said it a little bit in Smosh Summer Games, uh, uh-huh. like last time. Uh, pretty much, whenever we went... This is how saved my family... This is how saved me and my family are. Well, my family, more so. Um, it got... Thank you. We're teaching Keith podcast etiquette uh thank you sorry let me get up in this oh yeah baby yeah like this do y'all like so much so much better that sounds Mm, yeah so clear uh pretty much what my we used to go to applebee's every sunday after church (laughs) after whatever you know like just it was a special occasion applebee's in ohio 
is like it's lit. Oh Apple my god, that's my fancy. <laughs> that's <laughs> fancy. That's next level fancy. But we would go there, but my mom's afraid of balloons because we were kids. The waitresses would always give us like balloons. Okay, but my mom hates them. Why? Okay, she hates because they pop. That, I promise you, that's it. Cause they pop. Oop. <laughs> that's exactly why she hates them. Okay, so with them popping, whatever, blah blah blah. Before we would get in the car, my mom said, "You ain't bringing those in the car." But she stopped saying that after a while. And what she pretty much said was like, "Give them up to Jesus." Oh, so pollute. Yeah, that's the thing. She doesn't know any better. Come on, give her a break. Mom, don't make any, don't make case of my nephew. Like, give him up to Jesus. Like, let it go. Let go and let God, but don't let him go. How about that? That's really funny. Mm-hmm. Wow. I, I, can I really quickly just talk about your Sunday <laughs> school? That sounds like torture. It was terrible. I hated it. I did not like it one bit. And uh, that, was my only, that was my only Sunday school experience. I don't think I ever sat through a sermon. Like I think both my parents, both I mean, both my grandparents were were religious, church going mm-hmm. people, and then they all just sort of fell out of it. My parents weren't into it, mm-hmm. and they they never they never said anything negative about yeah. about church or about religion or whatever. But it was always one of those things where like, yeah, if it interests you, then then you know, go after it. For mm-hmm. sure. For um, sure. It's never it's never been something that has particularly appealed to me i think that if other people you know have a, a faith of any kind like that's fine with me as mm-hmm. long as as long as it doesn't infringe on on my rights as long and as you're a good person man that's what <laughs> there's, it's about there's a saying it's really bad and we'll cut it out if it's too if it's too explicit <laughs> but they say um religion is like having a penis it's okay, okay to have one but don't go shoving it down my mouth or my children's mouth oh my god that's some catholic <laughs> God. No, okay. no, no. If it was if it was That's Catholic, f- the saying would be that, different. Uh, can I it say would, that? No, uh, that would be just the kids. Yeah. yeah. I'm Sorry. No, no, no. They would say, don't shove it down my mouth. That's all they would say. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop. (laughs) Do you know how many of them are in prison? Do you want to talk about how many priests were arrested last year or found with child pornography in just Pittsburgh? I don't know. It was like four entire churches. It was like over 400 members. I think you talked to me about this. I think there was like 700 victims. Yes, they produced and they distributed their own child porn on church grounds. There's way more than that. They produced and distributed child pornography on church grounds for years. Everyone wants to know where these pedophiles come from and where the child porn is coming from. It's the Catholic Church? I mean, at least some of it. It's some coming it. from yeah, a lot of different places. Yeah. Pedophiles go everywhere. Definitely not just the Catholic Church. Our They're Kelly just got predators. It too. Oops. God. Good lord. Yeah. This is not a subject that I like to talk about. You Oof. know what we should talk about right now is that new doc. You guys heard about this yeah, new doc of, coming out? Speaking of um What doc? Children. I was just generally it goes into like how predators groom different children okay. and, and kind of like how they could be separated from their families and brought to, you know, places that might be called Neverland Ranch. Put a, na- <laughs> put a name on it. Put a name on it, because I'm about to go off and I don't know if this is right. This is the thing. This is the thing. Go put a name no, on it. No, I have not seen the documentary, about? but I'm talking about, about the new Michael Jackson documentary. Okay. All right. Can I just say this is a thing. Like, I don't want to make if this is true, if it's true, I wasn't there. Um, I don't want to make people feel that, like, what they have gone through, if it is true, like, I don't want them to feel that their, like, voice isn't being heard. Um, I will say this is the first time out of all the, like, the years that, like, Michael Jackson had a time to, like, honestly say this was, like, the vibe. Like, I didn't do this. Now we live in a time where, like, the Me Too movement and everything's going on. Like, people are able to say their claim, too. Like, we live in a social media world. This is the problem that I have with everything that's going on. Yo, I've been watching murder mysteries for, like, the past month, and the FBI seems to know everything. So if the FBI does a 10-year investigation on your ass, your black ass, your black white ass, Michael Jackson, (laughs) and they don't find any evidence, what the f*** do you want? Like, what is it? This is the thing. There's evidence against R. Kelly. Like, he's in a tape. He's in a tape. (laughs) But there's more beyond that. There's more. I I don't know. I don't want to say, like, this did not happen. I don't want to say that I don't feel that it did. Only because, not only because I'm a fan, Michael Jackson was open for his love for children. He was always like, yo, I love this. I love kids. I love them. You can share your bed. Like, anybody that's trying not to, like, share their bed or, like, chill with children would honestly be like, I don't like kids. 
R. Kelly ass. That's what he said. I don't like kids. Well, like no. R. Kelly doesn't go for the kids. Yes, goes he... for the teens. It's kids. No more kids. No more kids. <laughs> well, kids. No, no, they, those are kids. But this is the thing. When there's a 10-year investigation on you from the FBI and they find no evidence whatsoever, whatsoever, it's just hard for me to believe that it's actually accurate. And then some of the, the people involved within the case... Man, like, when it comes down to it, like, I'm cool with, like, some of the Jacksons, too. And, like, beyond me being cool with them, like, there's certain people that are coming out with these claims that are kind of, like, fraudulent. And, like, people that have said, like, in his, like, last try... <laughs> his last try... <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to be here anymore. He hurts. Somebody no. else talk. Yeah, yes, um, take it. <sighs> I mean, this, this be also nice. becomes a problem of, like everybody's truths right yeah because you know obviously michael jackson had a very large impact on a lot of people including including yourself say it again michael jackson was i mean he had a great impact on a lot of people <laughs> thank you oh, you added great that time <laughs> that was good <laughs> but, but oh. look you can do a lot of great things mm -hmm. and still do some pretty reprehensible things I'll as well i'll give you that mm -hmm. I mean, I think we can all agree Michael Jackson uh, will always be the king of pop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he's created <laughs> amazing things. Had to show my eyes. <laughs> Let's go. But... You think he did it is what you're saying. No, you just Look, say it. Say the it. only people that know the truth are him and those people that were kids back then. Mm -hmm. Nah, all I'm saying is the FBI is the, they strong. If you watch these murder mysteries... Forensic Files on Netflix, man. I watched the whole thing. And every time they come with the... Man, they know okay. every... So I'm, what about I'm the kid? Uh, there was one There's one kid. Uh, oh, I think his name is Jordan Ch Jordan Chandler. I've not watched it yet. Okay. So I can't. Watched it so, so this was a kid that he settled out of court. So they reached a settlement. And he was able to describe the markings on the bottom of Michael Jackson's genitalia, and those markings matched um, his genitalia. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Um, mm -hmm. I wasn't there. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, so that's, I, that's like one of those things where, where it's like, okay, really? so that matched. Why would a child know what the underside of Michael Jackson's penis looked like? Uh, could it have been a good guess? Maybe, but the whole thing was Michael Jackson had vitiligo, so he said he had a spot or something. Yeah, you know, you because know, vitiligo is the skin condition I, where I you know get what yeah. It is. yeah. So he was able to describe the markings. So yeah. that They're was very like specific a specific markings. Whoa, it's kind the, of moment. The Metro map from New York. His markings are very specific. <laughs> I'm sorry, Keith. The C train goes from his uh, scrotum. Have, how much to the longer do we have? They actually don't line. talk about. It. They, I don't think they even talk about it in the doc. I watched. No, uh, I watched the doc. And you then watched I think it. They, yeah. uh, there was two. There were two parts. So yeah. what, what is? Do you watch yeah, both? What's your mm -hmm. opinion after yeah. watching it? Uh, I think. I, I mean, honestly, we'll never know the truth. That's mm -hmm. that's the thing. Um, am I willing to just give MJ a pass? No. Mm -hmm. Like I, I do, I do believe. I mean. I think what we can all agree on is those those parents. Oh, f those parents! Man. Like like Michael Jackson. Maybe he did it. Maybe he didn't. Man. Maybe the maybe the kids lied. Maybe they didn't. But those parents, I think we could all agree, are the worst mm -hmm. because they were like, yeah, you know, he's Michael Jackson. It'll be great for his career. So sure, you could sleep in a bed with him for nine months. Man, mm -hmm. let's not like blame the parents. Let's not blame. No, let's blame the parents. No, this is this is the thing. I'm not here to blame anybody other than if it happened, the person that did it. I yeah, don't believe perpetrator. he did it. Yeah, like let's go to where it yeah. actually is. But because the thing is, like, you those... get you get to a place where you trust. You 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 trust. Like you know what I mean. If your kids in the entertainment business. If you go hang out with Michael Jackson, the biggest entertainer alive, like, you know, it's certain things like that. I'm not saying that it's excusable for the parents to do what they did. But beyond that, let's put the blame where it deserves to be put when it when the wrong has been done. If the wrong was done, I guess right. from you that know? perspective, you're kind of right. Like the victims are in, in some yeah. I mean, the parents are in some degree victims these, because they were groomed too. do you to, think these to parents actually, are like, actually hand over their children do you to think a degree. The, but. 
Sorry. Man, uh, this is the thing. Y'all talking about Michael. Y'all not even about to look. I will interrupt you every time. No, go for it. I, I just wanted to comment on you talking about the FBI. Like, like I get you. Like, they definitely investigated. <laughs> but this is my issue. Like, Harvey Weinstein, the entire Catholic Church, you know, the 2008 market crash. No one gets arrested. Like, the FBI is out here, like, catching people they want to catch. Mm. And if you're literally not only, like, a multimillionaire, but the most important person on the planet, who's to say not only can you possibly get out of the FBI, but you can just pay witnesses to lie? Yes, but there was no evidence. The FBI mm. has no evidence. Mm. The FBI. And I, they I'm, like, I'm telling you, watch it, forensic so. files. I'm <laughs> telling you, forensic <laughs> files. I don't watch movies on Netflix. Let's just be clear. I don't watch movies on Netflix. I watch forensic files. So it's always like, yeah, and then he killed her. And then, yeah. And then, it's like, I'm telling you, that's forensic files. Is that, that the ass- one where they'd solve it in 48 hours? Oh, my God. That's that's 48 hours. That's oh. 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> that's 48 hours. This is forensic files. This is yeah. like, this is like this may be a 10-year span. This mm-hmm. may be a one-day span. Like, mm-hmm. it's all of that. You <laughs> this pu- all happened in 39 seconds. There's evidence against R. Kelly, which I, like, I've not seen the tape. I, I, I... Part of me wants to see it, like, with the new allegations that, he, that he's going through. I want to see it, but, like, at the same time, like, yo, did I just watch child porn? You don't want to watch yeah. it, you know what I mean? It's, like, that weird, like, in-between. When there's no evidence, I'm just, I'm telling you, they, they can get the hair. Like, bro, if we hook, if we I, hook, they got, I got the you hairs. On that. I got you on that. That's why I don't take those DNA tests, because they, they caught the Golden State Killer from a second cousin. Are you a killer? That's the no, problem. No, I'm not. They're a serial no, killer. No. I've been watching a lot of yeah, serial killers. What, what I'm saying is me, every, right? yeah, yeah, every single person who's in prison who has their DNA given, everyone who does these tests, like, it is being run, which, like, go for it. No one's doing anything wrong. Like, that's great. But it's just on the idea of, like, great. Like, I just got caught or someone was able to do something. Like, God forbid I want to be the president. Mm-hmm. And, like, you frame me for murdering someone. It's just like, oh, sh- how did that happen? Like, oh, my brother in... 2018 gave his spit. <laughs> can you come over and watch Forensic Files with me? So I would love can, to because bro, I love nothing it, more we'll than videos that scare one. me. I don't know which one it is because they just go back to you back You want to the it. best one? Bro, the best I'm Forensic like File? On chapter 9. What is the best one so far? Is it the most difficult case to solve or like the bloodiest most like what is the best Forensic File? I feel I like know. all they of them all, are sad. Honestly when you watch all of them they all say the same thing like somebody didn't get so caught somebody, first. somebody did something and then they found a thing and then they caught Yeah them. and sometimes yep. it takes years to get to that mm, point you know mm. but they find evidence. The two things that I think really stood out for me from the doc was how much I did not respect the parents Mm. and how insane a fandom can be just in regards to it, it didn't matter what what may have happened there were mm. still people that were willing to believe mm. michael no matter what yeah. like before the jury even mm-hmm. you know uh said not guilty yeah. when that when the one case went through there was all these people that were like, no, he did not do it. He yeah. did not. And it's like, well, how do you know? Do you mm-hmm. know? The dude yeah. literally makes music. Like, <laughs> why are you defending <laughs> this guy? Like, oh he, you like a song that he made. Mm. Like, I, it, I just, I have, I, I think that fandoms, fandoms of any kind, um, to me, are toxic. Mm. Because it, it clouds people's judgment. Okay, can I... Okay, as somebody who has like a, a fandom, and like you have allowed the 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 five of us to come up, be a part of like something that you've established with Anthony. I mean, I see what you're saying, but at the same time, like, does that mean like you're ungrateful for it? Like, you know what I mean? Because that's what we like. You have that, bro. You have yeah. people, people. You have that beyond anybody in this whole crew that we like have now. You have people that have been die hard for you. And it's just like, we can say that this, that, and the other, but like at the end of the day, when you're going through your like bullshit, or like you got like a something going on that may be true or may not be true, these people are gonna stand up for you. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. like, I don't, I don't wanna be like, yo, Ant- uh, Anthony, I almost called this <laughs> That's it, in here? Oh my God. No. Yes. But, <laughs> but like when it comes down to it, like we got to be grateful for what we do have. Like, I mean, I see what you're saying, but like just go through something. And I'm sure like the, the, Smosh, the Smosh universe, we got little issues. We mm-hmm. got little problems. And like just imagine if the same people, the people that like look out for you and Anthony and like whatever, what if they didn't like fuck with you at all? What if they didn't give you that respect at all? Mm-hmm. What if you didn't have yeah. people that really like loved you at all. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, and I don't really relish in in the the idea of somebody 
supporting me no matter what. I think I should be judged just as much as everyone yeah. else. So I don't enjoy this this sort of, you know, fandom beyond reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if I fuck up, I I don't want people that are in like the the smosh viewership to to just fully defend me without reason. Yeah, like, for like, sure. Like, I, I would like it if they said, like, yes, you f***ed up, and, like, let's, let's move on. But you say that with mm-hmm. no f***ed ups. What do you mean? You say that with no f- ups. There's no f- ups that you've done. There's nothing. There's no. There's been no smosh like, like. Well, th- I certainly haven't touched a child. Yeah. Oh no, for sure. <laughs> but I'm not saying no. That's not. That's yeah. unexcusable. Mm-hmm. Unexcusable. Unexcusable. Catch me unexcusable. But like, you want people to be there for you regardless of the fact. And when you f- up, which like we play clean, we like are chill is fit. Yeah. Like when we got you. I don't want to use I don't want to use our our following as a as a crutch. Like mm-hmm. I, I you know, I want to rely on on friends and family, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to use the people that are watching us or listening to us as a device. To yeah, I come from a, I come from a place from unconditional love. So like sometimes it's just that they don't know, they don't know. Mm, like yeah. nobody knows, but some people are just willing to be down for you even when you're wrong. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that's unconditional love. That's beautiful. But that I think that's beautiful. also on the the person who is receiving like the the attention in the sense of like not only have you not done anything wrong, but like you're you're obviously very honest to what your online persona is mm. and and also what your real life persona is to the point of like there's no back room where you're doing lines of cocaine and there's like <laughs> girls who aren't allowed to talk like like yeah. things that other YouTubers really have been taken down for you're not flying to events and talking to people that you shouldn't because Ian they're is 14 like really clean like, cut <laughs> like honestly he it's doesn't really do what shit. it is there's not a problem and i think like obviously because you're a legitimate like respectable human and obviously mm-hmm. i think like you've got a lot of wisdom and age on some of these like new kids who are going out and they're mm-hmm. 16 mm-hmm. and they've been popular since they're 12 and they don't understand the influence that they have that if you were to do something wrong you're obviously not about to hide behind children on yeah, the internet or even yeah. fans in general right you're going to be the so. first to stand up and be like no let me be an example of what to do even when I've not done mm-hmm. something and that is let me defend myself you know yeah well that's very nice yeah. thank you yeah, um, yeah. no like that's you good you look bro you're good <laughs> yeah. you don't got no problem <laughs> yeah. as far as I'm concerned <laughs> oh, thank you mm. uh, I I think it is that thing where you said unconditional love mm-hmm. but, they love you but the fans don't really know the person that they're a fan of. Mm-hmm. So like unconditional love from from, you know, your mom or your mm-hmm. sister. Like they know everything about you. Mm-hmm. Um, no, they don't. So I think it's that that I mean, that there's depends. there's mothers okay, that have okay. un- unconditional love for their sons who are murderers. But they're going off of what you portray. So right. like be grateful for it. That's yeah. the thing. Mm-hmm. Be grateful for what they what they know of you. Mm-hmm. They're going off of what you give. Okay. So I, I look if I hear a Michael Jackson song come on the radio, I'm still gonna bounce to it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, definitely still gonna listen. He has some great songs. He all has right? some great songs. He has all the great songs. You wanna be starting something? Human nature. I'm just about to name time. <laughs> For me, it's his music videos. Like I was not. Yes. I was like very young. Yeah. You know, I knew Michael Jackson from uh, a CD cover that my parents had, the PYT cover. Mm. Uh, and I knew him from. It might have been 2004, 2005, when he stands on top of his limo in a crowd of people in front of the the court. Like See, those are the two mm-hmm. images of Michael Jackson. That was I during his trial. Yeah, like, yeah. That, that's all I know him for. So watching his music videos with Keith, like over the last probably four years or just knowing you, it's been like very eye-opening to someone who is legitimately creative, legitimately trying to express themselves, yeah. actually has something they want to say yeah. to communicate. Mm-hmm. It's just that this person also possibly most likely was a child predator. Shut your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> it's just unfortunately what it is. I I mean, there's, there's no doubt. There's no doubt that he was flawed, as we mm-hmm. all are. We um, all are, but he didn't. I mean, he had, I mean, he had a pretty crazy upbringing yeah and i'm sure he didn't really have the best he wasn't equipped with exactly a healthy upbringing Mm -hmm. that could have messed him up oh it did i I mean this just he talks about it that's all he had michael jackson has been so like open about his love for children Mm -hmm. and just like the things that he's been through because people are always on his back what he Mm -hmm. was when he was alive it's the thing like i just feel like if you you would like try to cover it up more 
I really believe that. He's hiding in plain sight. Ooh, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, sorry. I, ain't he, looking at that I one. mean, he did. He did. Uh, he did have a lot of things to to cover up. I mean, he, yeah, I mean, he had that. like in his Neverland Ranch. He had like multiple doors to get to his room. He had. He's a Michael bell. Jackson. He, but he would he would have a bell that would go off when somebody was coming down the hallway. Have you okay, Ian? Ian. Ian does not like to like go out places and like Ian is very reclusive. Very reclusive in the best way. No negative anything, but very reclusive. Inclusive. Just imagine being the biggest pop store, pop store, <laughs> pop being a pop store you in the continue world. Like that. But just imagine being the biggest pop star in the world. Like everybody, like if we say, bro, like if anybody sees Michael Jackson as it's next level, you can still walk down the street a little bit. You know uh-huh. what I mean? But if you like say, like I go to Hollywood all the time, you couldn't just do that sometimes. Like throughout the day, no, bro, you would get stopped. It would be like a, a thing. You know what I mean? Imagine all that. I want this door. I want this door locked. I want this bell right here. Ding, mm. ding. I need all that. Who is this? Who, 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 who is it? Are you trying who to be Michael? It? There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I'm telling you. All the doors. The 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 last statement that I'll make is is past any sort of he didn't like, do it. Predatory nature, like what is 100% proven, is like his intense drug addiction and drug abuse, mm. like for tens of years, mm. to the point of like. All I'm saying is maybe if at 30 he just had some thoughts, like maybe at 50 when he's nearly dead off, you know, some that puts him to sleep 23 hours a day, like, who knows? Uh, That's a horrible thought that I just put into my own head and everyone yeah. else is listening. Let's yeah, change that topic. Yeah, that's, I didn't like that. So, I didn't like it either. So that's your final thought. Um, what do Keith, you feel? Keith, I... Do you think he did it? Yes. Yes, really? Yeah. Hell. Yeah. I do. I haven't it, seen it. Like the the, the testimonies notwithstanding, but but if the kid could describe markings on the dude's wiener, it's a little suspect. Mm-hmm. That, I saw an episode. That, of I think that sold like me. That. Damn. Yeah, episode one. SVU not... never never gets anything no, wrong. It's really they <laughs> they stopped a, a prison guard off of that. They oh, identified God. a mole on his testicle. Wow. That actually happens really a lot. It really stuck with me. That that uh, that happens a lot and that's I I'm assuming that's why they had they had took photos of all of Michael's uh bits mm-hmm. because this happens a lot. They'll mm-hmm. they'll have a victim describe any distinctive markings. Wow. Apparently, we all got some weird markings on our dicks, mm-hmm. I guess. That we're, it's like a it's I like got a, a mole. You know they say I cheetahs always me. have like mole? different stripes or Near. or spots. Yeah. <laughs> stripes. You got weird spots. Um, you got like a spot, like a. Freckle. We'll see, because if I if I say, uh, oh yeah, don't say where. Yeah, just right. Just say like you got somebody... a spot. <laughs> a spot. Give me the coordinates. No, I think I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm clean. All right. Clean. I don't, I'll, oh, have to, I'll, I'll check. I'll check. I'll check, and I'll let you know. Yeah, the way yeah. that you check yeah. is you put a mirror on the floor, and then you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say that I have a mole on my balls but I got a mole on my balls wow I didn't right. know that you know what and I know which one it is because I've seen one of them and that one didn't have the mole <laughs> oh my god yeah okay let me just be clear Noah did not just see my balls like not I now. think I In showed the, the whole cast <laughs> yeah I showed all we were shooting something and I was, was that trying... when was that when Noah was 17 when we started oh you will <laughs> no. not do that no, <laughs> no. Jesus uh uh-uh, uh Jesus you won't take me down <laughs> to be down. started something no. <laughs> to be started something <laughs> that's where we at come on that is not we will not play into that at all. But the thing was, like, we commit on a, such a level, and we're all really close. So I decided to show my balls, and everybody laughed. So it was good, mm-hmm. right? Uh, was everybody? Were you cool? No, with that? it was great. Was great cool? memory. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. I've seen. I think I've seen your balls. Yeah. <laughs> also seen your mangina. Right? Oh, yeah. Didn't you mangina? Uh, I did send a picture. Before. I did send a picture. Oh, that one was so funny. <laughs> that was oh, funny. Oh my goodness. That's the thing. He said, "Tucked in or out." Poop. That was so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! Wait, wait. What is that from? Is that is that Scary Movie One? That's two. Two? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! We love Scary Movie One. <sighs> Moving on to another. Oh wait, do you have uh, final thoughts about, or do you think you've said your piece? I said my piece. When the FBI come up with more, like I don't want to hold on. Let me bring it back. I don't mm. want to come off that way because mm. that energy is not what it is. Yeah, like, that's it, not really who you are. That's not. That's not who I am. And when it comes down to it, like with things that I've gone through growing up mm. and just like life situations and life, whatever. Not to go into it too deep. When it comes down to it, like you don't want to not believe people and what they've gone through and what has happened to them. But I will say with, and I hate to say about <laughs> forensic files. <laughs> These. My- they got evidence. They had no evidence on Michael. <laughs> and that just messes me up. That's just like, yo, once they get evidence, 
Once they get, once the FBI get evidence, and this is when I bring it back to that energy. Once mm. the FBI gets evidence, then I will be like, okay. But until then, like, you don't have a 10 year investigation. It don't take that long unless, like, you got. Mm. He ain't do it. Mm. Period. <laughs> Fight me. How do you think they would have gotten evidence if it's, you know, like an entire maze in order to get into the property? They could have got lost uh, between door six and door seven, and they could have <laughs> oh died you there. Fight, I tell they you, me there Nor could be an FBI agent skeleton <laughs> on Neverland property. Mm -mm, that's we would what, never know. This is the problem. He's the problem. <laughs> He's the problem. That's what I won't do. And you know you are triggering me. Next question. Imagine? And move on. Oh. So one of you guys wrote um, Blueface, the worst rapper alive. Who is Blueface? You don't know Blueface? No. Do you want so, to talk about okay. Blueface? So, like, I don't want to say he's the worst rapper alive. You know, I wrote that. But, like, that's what everybody comes at him, like, for. Like, he raps off beat, yo. <laughs> so off beat. <laughs> yo, like, if you oh ever heard anybody rap off beat, but, like, it's funny because he makes it work. Okay. It works. Like, okay, so you know how hip hop is just getting worser and worser and worser? Sure. Worser yeah. is the word. That's worser, bro. <laughs> He's going me. without even I like, even try yeah. to correct myself. I said it three times. Mm -hmm. Worser and worser and worser. That's where it is now. And, like, we we support it. So, Tatiana, Blueface, you killing the game, bro. Like, I wish I could come up with some offbeat ass song and be uh, like. Okay, so that's 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 Blueface. Yeah. Tatiana. Yeah, Tatiana. Yeah. And then what's the other one? Uh, drop the floor. With, uh, drop your phone. I can't leave it. What's it called? You. It's the dance move. It's uh, with the pants. What's yeah, I know what you're called? talking about. Because that's what blew him up. I mm -hmm. watched. So, my connection to it is I've got a friend. Uh, and his little brother, his name is Jacob Gordon, goes by JG, and mm. he's an, uh, a, a, a rapper, JG? Yeah, I guess, JG? in San Francisco. He was able to perform or open for Blueface uh, for five hundred dollars, which is, I guess, how it works. Is like if you want to open for these be, artists, be, be nice. People no, that's don't make really money, what it is. Brother. But I, that's, I thought Blueface is like really, really big. No, no, no. Okay. Blueface he made is huge. Hundred dollars. Like no, Jacob paid five hundred dollars in order to perform before what? Blueface. Oh you paid See, to we perform. Didn't know that. See, yes, that's, that's, that's what a, I'm trying that's to describe. That's a straight up no, scam. That is what all of these rappers do. Everyone, and that's probably even Blueface before he showed up anywhere. Maybe not Blueface specifically, but other rappers that are getting on local shows. Like in order to open for people you will have to pay money that's um bull yes yeah. which is also at least from my experience with people that jacob knows is also why a lot of them are drug dealers because <laughs> they don't have normal jobs they really want to be rappers and they need you to come just, up with 500 hold on. <laughs> this is not the type of friend you want like no no he's not dealer, a drug dealer no he's but you just said dealer. your friend's name yo what's his name he's a rapper. look up jg look up no, jg you know you just do a friend that's as a drug dealer that's jg the he's FBI. not a drug dealer noah the fbi <laughs> mm -hmm. you remember how there was no evidence on michael hey oh whoa whoa, whoa. there will All be have to evidence do is on jg watch jacob's music videos and there's evidence for the fbi but there's also <laughs> evidence of modern hip hop. You can't help. You can't help the ca the, the the case. You can't help them like the, put him in jail. I'll be on the witness stand. <laughs> I'll he do didn't it. do it. He didn't. He didn't do it. Michael didn't do it. Jacob didn't do it. It's sorry, I brought it back and I didn't mean to. Sorry. So, 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 can you please tell Jacob? Sorry. Yeah, no, Jacob. Noah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Noah, um, do your parents still think Keith stole money from them? Okay. All right. All right. First of all, no. Okay. So I don't know what. Okay, you talk it. You talk about it. No, yeah. I didn't still. No. Whatever. So, Whatever. But never. It never in my life have I loaned Keith money. Never has he <laughs> taken money from me or taken money from my family or my parents. <laughs> Thank you. My parents have. They just have a very specific <laughs> opinion about me, and it's one of like. Honestly, <laughs> deadbeat, unsuccessful, like didn't go to college. So all of those things just really punch into their head that I must be stupid and must make very, very bad decisions. Mind you, I'm going to like tag along. Mm -hmm. They just really care about their son. That's what parents do. That's what sure. parents do. Sure. Okay? Keep going. I'll look, take I got, that. Look, I'm going to look out for mom ice and daddy yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Essentially, in the first year of me working at Smosh, or always, I've been really good friends with Keith, but uh, I would go over to his uh, apartment probably like twice a week, three times a week. I would like drop him off. We'd ride together um, in Granted, Hollywood. he was 17. <laughs> no, I was 18 at that time. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still don't know how to drive, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I was spending time over there, and I don't remember what it was, but my mom was just kind of like upset, and I'm totally throwing her under the bus. She's a great woman, very nice, but she's also super passive-aggressive. Um, mm. She's tried to fight me a couple times. Oh my god! Like actually, physically, like, like throw up. 
Be nice. Like, like push me into a corner and like throw up arms. And I'm just like, <laughs> she, and I'm like, I'm not gonna fight you. What I is going on? I know the situation. On? She just wanted his attention. Yes. That's she all really she wanted. wanted my attention. That <laughs> like, is true. It's not that's that, really true. That's all it no, was. No, she wasn't gonna hit me or anything. She definitely wanted yeah, my attention. It's very, all out of love. That's a very aggressive way of getting I'm attention. I'm telling you, I well, grew up she, in a black household. Yeah, she grew up, <laughs> she grew up in a household that yeah, fought, cool. fought a lot, fought a lot of people. And mm. each member should be arrested, but instead two of them are prison guards. Mm, um, they strong. But uh, so essentially, they can beat people up legally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Instead of just on their front yard. <laughs> Great. Um, but yeah, my mom um, and my dad both one time at dinner just kind of blindsided me and was like, "Hey, so um, we don't think you're managing your money well. Like, where's it all going? Are you loaning money? Like, are you giving money to Keith? Did you loan three thousand dollars to Keith? Like, all out of nowhere. Like, they what? are building, and it's all because like I definitely spent my money not smartly. You know." And we hang if anyone's out all wondering, the time. yeah, we hang out all the time. Listen, if you have money, put it immediately into a 401k. You can start it at any age. So, uh, uh, yeah, I just uh, was spending money how I shouldn't have spent it, which was on a, a lot of food going out. And um, they thought that I was loaning Keith thousands of dollars. Why yeah. did they say? Why did they jump to Keith and then say no three thousand dollars? I have no idea. I, well, have this no is the thing. idea. Well, I don't want to go into specific pursuits, <laughs> but the thing is, man, like, I, like we all we have a great understanding. Like we, and they know that I've never like stole or taken anything from Noah. Um, I need money, but I won't take from mm-hmm. you. You know what I mean? Uh, it just it was one of those things. They're just being parents, and they're like wondering who. Who is influencing and who is a part of their son's life. Noah joined Smosh at 17 years old. They're gonna look out for his mm-hmm. ass, period. And I mean, uh, they're not racist, but like, of course. It's not, not. No, I think it's really <laughs> just like when Sorry. she's fighting. No, no, my, my parents aren't racist. My grandfather, you know, just like any 75 year old white man, mm-hmm. is. A seventy-five-year-old white man. Yeah, I'm, I, <laughs> I didn't nice want to. I didn't want to say that because that's it's unfortunately really Look, aggressive. Black people are racist too. I'll like join in there. It's a difference. I mean, I would, I would even, I would argue that to you, and I shouldn't, but I would argue prejudice over racist because racism is like mm. systematic. Like you can be prejudiced, but then there's racism, which is like hundreds of years societies built, mm. like systems made, yeah, history I books written, images shown to the public, like everything about it is that. That's racism versus like prejudice. But I think my parents, once again, were really trying to get my attention and just like talk shit about all my new friends, talk shit about everyone that's near me, just so that uh, I would they, give them attention. Bro, they love you and they're like genuinely involved in like your well being. And although, like I used to tell you, like it's gonna take for you to move outside of like being with your mom and your dad, living at home, in order for the relationship that you guys have to heal. Mm-hmm. Because it's just like the older you get, bro, like you want to do things and you can do things because. You're grown they can't stop you but as long as you living under their like walls yeah, that's yeah. just all it is yeah that's just all it is so like uh, bro they just care about you and that's all it was mm. they just care about their son and they making sure that keith lee jr wasn't taking money mom ice and daddy yo i wasn't taking none from noah noah has been one of my like closest friends like within the last four years and like he has helped me out but like it's never been a situation where it was like alone it was no, just like no i'm you giving you rides food. places yeah yeah, oh, yeah that's but the thing. vice I can't versa you, you bought me food before but it must be hard to move out because your car payments are oh my insanely high. So I'll just, high, or your I'll just be payments, fully right? honest. Yeah. If if people are really curious just about like what the financial situation is in the real world, because I imagine a lot of people watching this are older than me, and a lot of people watching it are younger than me. So realistically, I attempted to purchase a home, a down payment on a home, to move out when I was just got hired at Smosh. <laughs> and no matter how much money you can put down on a home, unless you can buy it 100% in cash. They will not, a bank will not approve a loan um, unless you have the monthly income guaranteed. And I think that's a rollover from the 2008 market crash, but also I think that's how it always was supposed to be. But on the (laughs) the monthly income that I was provided and like I was fine, you know, uh, I could not own a home no matter how much money I could put down. So instead I went and I bought a car. And that has been the worst decision I've <laughs> ever made in my entire car? life. Look, this is the thing. I'm devil's advocate. Like, I don't know how to drive. I don't know how to maneuver a car. Ian right. actually tried to help me once I, before. I did try to teach Keith. I, I had a I had this beater Subaru that I was going to sell to you for 500 bucks. Okay, mm-hmm. my dad told me not to buy that. What? what? Yes, that's Why? the thing. Because it's just like, yo, I'm not about to ride around in some, like, be, it's... It, 
I ain't doing it. My dad told me not to do it. It's Just a perfectly no. safe never car. Talked about it's it. a Subaru Legacy. All right, that's no, a very it was great, safe but it car. But it had no air in it. I ain't about to do that. Do no y'all air in it. It oh, had no air. Oh, the, Your air was, the AC was, out. The AC was gone. I think you just need to put oh, a, yeah. a Freon in it. It don't matter what it was. My dad told me not to do it, and I don't know how to maneuver cars. And like, even if. Like, is this we, why you don't drive? Because your dad just told you no, and then you just never did. No, that was my reason to not drive your car. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's the okay. difference, brother. That was the difference. <laughs> I, that's why I didn't buy hey, your we, car. We all, got to, we all got to start somewhere, man. Yeah. No, and I thank you for the opportunity, but it was just not for me. And it was just like, bro, like, I'm getting to the point. I will say, like, hindsight, I really appreciate you. Like, guys, oh, there's you. a picture of us, Ian and I, just like, ah, and I'm just in front of this car, like, ah, and my, like, little brown hat. Like, bro... I'm getting to a point. I'm getting older. I need to learn how to drive. I will say. I will teach you again. Yeah. Not in my car though. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. Not your one. <laughs> this is the thing. Beyond that, like, I feel like we could make it a whole vlog and a whole thing. Bro, like, yeah. I used to say, like, why, why doesn't Olivia's Asian ass teach me how to drive? She can't drive. We should and take you to bumper cars oh, first. Yeah. Have you ever done that? Yes, you I have. Really Don't is... you disrespect me. All I'm saying is, I passed the driving test, and I'm still. Where I am, I don't know if you should get on the road. <laughs> All right. <laughs> how, much, how much do you think you spent on Uber fares in the past three years? Or let's oh say, yeah, let's, wait. Let's let's. I'll, I'll annual, try to think annually, the actual price that annually. I spent on my car and actually like the price. Yeah. Oh no, it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot, y'all. But I mean, you don't have a car, so you have to take an Uber. I do. I do. So it's not like it's not like a it's not like a brag of like. But how much do you think you? Are you? Do you not want to say? I don't want to say, and it's just a lot. Like yeah. at this point, I could have had two cars. But I mean, car, yeah. I mean, car ownership, yeah. insurance—that's that's also a lot. So there's also I, an argument to never have a car. Mm-hmm. But I could have just been putting that like toward like th- that bill no, at the, the end answer, of the month. Oh no, just public be- transportation would have saved us both. Well, you so know much Goddamn money. No, <laughs> I feel that. That's the thing. I've been there, done that. When I first started Smosh, I like that's what I was doing. Oh then yeah, that's how. Yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah. Then you start, you whatever, you know whatever when that comes down to it bro like no like i can't like i don't want to be on the bus i don't want to be like mm-hmm. within that it takes hours and y'all know i'll be late anyway i'm surprised mm-hmm. i'm here on time let's be real and this is like eight in the morning <laughs> i don't know anyways with that being said public transportation is for the birds oh damn mm-hmm. i mean mm-hmm. la used to have a better public transportation it's there's, there's a there's a conspiracy theory about why our public transportation is bad uh, because we used to have the tram system it's not a conspiracy theory it's actually like taught in history class like i was yeah. taught in history class it was uh, teach them noah let them know well, no it was just the the basically the consumer industry had vehicles they had cars and they wanted to sell them to people and they didn't just want to sell it as like a, a way that you move your family they wanted everyone to have a car because that's a lot more cars mm-hmm. if you have a lot more cars you get to build a lot more roads all of these things that kind of interconnect to each other interstate stuff like that they actually sold the car to young kids as the only way that you will ever date someone outside of your town well, it's at duh. such a time <laughs> when like the culture is so different that the car defines like the new era of, of what is America. Yeah. But uh, in California, we had the best public transportation system from all the way up the coast, and then they tore up the trams. Every city used to look like San Francisco. Mm-hmm. And, like, you could see that. I, in my 10th grade class, Mr. Lundgren, mm. that was a great history teacher. Shout out to Mr. Lundgren. Yeah. I, well, yeah, because L.A. <laughs> used to have a really great tram system, and it, and it cut diagonally across the sort of city grid mm. and um the conspiracy was that the the rubber company like oh i don't know, you know that far but it was like oil and rubber mm. because mm. you know tires for mm. cars um that they essentially lobbied to take the trams out mm. um yeah I believe there, that. there was also an argument that they needed to replace the trams that would have cost the city a lot of money blah blah mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Well, i mean so we don't replace our roads <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> so they they took all the trams out and now we're st- now it's just a bunch of cars mm-hmm. and then also these weird diagonal streets mm-hmm. that end up f***ing up all the traffic because they weren't originally supposed to be streets. <laughs> so there's cars driving on things that shouldn't be. Anyway, mm. it's a pain in the ass. And I think public transportation, I mean, it has to be the answer. Mm. It has to be. Mm-hmm. Like there's only going to be more and more people. Mm-hmm. And uh, the only way that we can put all those people in one place is to optimize public transportation. Mm-hmm. And I'd like that. And um, well, there's no solution yet. Mm-hmm. That sucks. Well, my solution is Uber, and that is public transportation. Yeah, not I, really. I, <laughs> I think it's private. That, that counts. Whatever. I think it's private. Take it how you want. Yeah. So what if I get an Uber pool? I think that's still private. It's really? a private company, private vehicle, private uh, driver. You teach it's also stuff. like, unless you're like 
unless you're doing Uber pool, you're still just it be it's just like you're driving yourself, you know. It's okay. not really taking a car off the road. Yeah, I never drove myself, so that sounded weird. Really? Not, I mean, my, car? Ian tried car? to help me my dad. No, no, not for real. That don't count. It's, <laughs> it's levels. Yeah, for real though. Don't don't buy a car. Yeah, so Noah, you, <laughs> Here you, we go. so so Keith is somebody that needs to start driving. You are Noah. You are somebody that needs to stop driving. <laughs> Dude, the issue is Los Angeles, which is at all hours. Okay. This yeah. is really what it is. Like you. like, I unfortunately, I went directly from like high school of waking up at like seven a.m. like whatever, going to sleep at like four p.m. What it is like? Mm-hmm. I've, I've always worked when I was a kid, so like putting in twelve hour days is great. It's awesome. Child the labor loss. The consistency of having to go into Beverly Hills from where I live Mm -hmm. is straight up a three hour round trip. Mm -hmm. And like that is being done at seven in the morning and that's being done at like eight o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And the city is the worst possible place to drive. There is like two lights per street. Everyone crosses the lights, like everyone's on their phone. No one's paying attention, Mm -hmm. like me included. Our, our, Our boss who actually ran the company into the ground um, him and a couple other people actually caught me on my phone once parked and I was and I was like oh yeah you caught me like put it down like please don't text and drive don't look at your phone and drive I've gotten a lot better at it um, but unfortunately I have never been in an accident due to like being like straight up horribly distracted except for one time I bumped into someone's bumper dancing oh and that was with Keith yeah. I was gonna say cause Keith you've you've been in the car with Noah on two of his accidents yeah it might have been it might have been more I just don't remember because of the <laughs> whiplash too many to count. <laughs> let's be it's two it's, <laughs> it's two, two. It's one two. real accident and one dude trying to blackmail me uh, well you know beyond that Noah you were okay can, I, can we talk about this yeah, 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 really talk yeah, yeah. About I was it? dancing with okay, my eyes closed just to be clear I don't want to let him he was dancing with his mother Eyes closed. Yeah. He was you just were like, dri- that's not. With, with that said, I wasn't driving. We were stopped. It's just that I started dancing with my eyes closed and I started shaking my butt a little like this, <laughs> and it caused my foot to get off the brake exactly just enough oh that like my God. eyes were closed. And Keith was like, Noah, 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 and like I opened my eyes, and by the time I opened my eyes, I had already just like. Can we also talk about how now, like I've been so scarred and to the point where what I'm like the worst passenger driver mm-hmm. ever because I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. It's just like all that. Dude, come on, and he's like, "Yo, yeah. dude, he and he gets defensive, but he's like, thank you.' <laughs> yeah, I'm He'll always fine with it. It's fine. It's just also always at the times when I'm like not gonna get in an accident. If that I'll makes sense. I'll give you that, but that's the thing. We've been too like through too many. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two is too many. How many? We've been how many too think, many? How many accidents do you think have you've I been in? Been. I think I've been in probably seven total. Two of which weren't my fault. Mm. Um, the real one. He's alive still. Yeah, you got, you and, got and some lives. of those being small, like very small things. Yeah, and you've never really, like really been legitimately injured. The I, one, I, no, no, that one, no, that I one. Am, we I are not hurt. the same. No, I'm not the same. And it was shock mm. that told me that I was fine. And then going back to work, that really like I'm oh. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. Oh, mm-hmm. I remember like. like yeah, one of the days you came into work, you were not yeah. okay. You, it was, laid, it was actually, you laid down for like a day, right? Yeah, that was <laughs> after we did the first uh, Smosh yeah. Summer Games. We oh, are t- on our way home. <laughs> Bro, once again, it's a situation where it's like, okay, like I got to go f- two hours and like 18 freeways that I've never heard of before to get somewhere. You were taking Someone me brake checked me, yeah. No. I was taking Keith On home. the highway. On the highway. This person like straight up wanted me to die. Um, they did not, Noah. Oof, there was you, a car before. Were okay. you tailgating them? I, I'm going to no, let you no. explain. I Go Essentially, ahead. there's two freeways split, and I have to get on one freeway. Hmm. And they don't ever connect again, okay? Ever. I'm going to be stuck for another hour. So I'm going, and we've got at least half a mile, maybe not half a mile, maybe a quarter of a mile before I, I have to get over. And the entire time, there's this uh, a car next to me. What was it? Uh, not a Ford. Uh, not the box Ford, but something else. It might have been a box Ford, actually. It doesn't matter. It was a van. Was it a van? Maybe it that's why it looked like it. It was a whole van because of the whole, you know what? They, the they Ford su- Edge. It was a whole, I'll, I'll talk about ahead. it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, it, was just... this, it was this family, mm-hmm. and I don't know if the dad was upset that day, if the car was annoying. I don't know what was going on, but he was definitely in a battle with me about not letting me over. I tried Ugh. to speed up in front of him. He would speed up. I tried to slow down. He would slow down. So finally, I slowed down even more to get behind him, and we're at the point where, like, there's literally a metal median that will split my car in half mm. and murder both Keith and I. So I have to <laughs> slow right. down and try to get behind him. He, so I slow down and try to get behind him. Also, I'm pretty sure the, the freeways were wet now that I think about it. Um, oh, my God. You are lying. No, really, because when we finally got <laughs> no, when we finally got picked up where we stopped, the street was wet when the cops were there. That was we after we wrecked, if anything. Well, yeah, but it didn't just randomly no, rain. I'm not going to let you It lie. didn't randomly rain. No. All I'm saying is, is I got over behind this guy, uh-huh. and this dude immediately, like, slams on his brakes to the point where, like, I wasn't necessarily expecting that he would fully slam on his brakes, so I didn't fully slam on him myself. I did lightly, and then I realized that he was not 
yeah. lifting his foot. Yeah. So then I slowed down as much as I could, but both my feet on, slammed. The car was like skidding. Like, you, guh, 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 guh. you braked like a Flintstone. You put both your feet uh-huh, on the brake on pedal. The floor. <laughs> yeah. Wow. When, in that situation, I was like, holy shit. I, uh, you want to go for it? I really just want to say that's not how I remember it. Mm. That's how I remember. Maybe I'm putting the memories together wrong. I think you lying. What What do you remember? Because this is how I remember it. <laughs> I remember, you know, I always play DJ in your car. Mm. You know, I'm always trying to figure something. Mm. So we listening to some, I don't know. At that point, what were we listening uh, to? Probably Shania Twain. There we go. Like, you love me forever and for always. That's probably what we're listening to. We're jamming out. Um, I don't know what happened. The car both. In front of the van ended up, like, stopping, like, on the highway, which is unheard of. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I don't know how to drive, but I will say any car stop on the highway is just, like, wrong. And I'm not going to say that it was completely your fault, but, I mean, when you hit somebody from well, the back. No, and we're in California, too. Yeah, it's always I don't be remember there being rain. I, I think it was already wet. It wasn't raining. I think it was already wet. I don't even remember there being so wet. wet. Wet road. It was. <laughs> Somebody it was, breaks. It was, when we got picked up, it was wet. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's, uh, the first Smosh Summer Games, I think the, the second day that we were there, it rained. Mm. So did the, so. Guy, did the guy stop? Like, did he... Did oh, he just oh, did he flee car, the scene? His car was totally fine. So oh, right under under the, the bumper, yeah yeah yeah. Right? So oh, the way that I was braking right was I was braking obviously uh-huh. to try to not yeah. hit anyone. So my car probably went from like sixty miles an hour to mm-hmm. like twenty, mm-hmm. like really quickly, and it lowered the front, mm-hmm. and so I was able to hit under his bumper. So this dude's damage was like six scratches, and mm-hmm. I, I I posted a photo on Instagram because it was that shocking mm-hmm. and that ridiculous that I had to do it because it wasn't even my car; it was yeah. my brother's car. Oof. That's it, honest exploded. My car exploded yeah. in a way that I'd never seen before. <laughs> we got whiplash, never. bro. Yes, really. Whiplash. Like, hit, all of a sudden, like, my lights are on, there's smoke. Within 30 seconds, there's an officer behind us, like, we couldn't like even... I'm gonna push you off the freeway. Hold on, can we talk about how the officer was a total dickhead? Oh my God. <laughs> like, total dickhead. Like, this is the thing, like, you got Noah and I, we're goofy-ass people, you know, we try to make light of our situations. Mm. Uh, I started to, like, Joking go... around? Yeah, there we go. I started to like um, like panic. No, it's like Keith. I need you to relax. I need you to relax. Like I'm a panicker. People don't realize it, but mm-hmm. I'm really. I mean, you calm me yeah. down. No, you but, scared me. The first thing you said was I can't breathe. I was bro, sitting there like, before no. I check if I can breathe, no, you yeah. gotta breathe. You, you can't say I'm that already sentence sued. anymore. <laughs> bro, like, that's, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that's where we was at. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> When it came when it came down to it, it got to the point where Noah and I, Noah's calmed me down. We're all good, whatever. We're starting to like chill. We couldn't move. Noah tried to drive off. Uh, couldn't move. Uh, police officer came right behind. Uh, the people are just, it's on the highway, so people are just like going, 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 uh, going really fast. So we're scared. You know what I mean? You're like in the middle of all the traffic? Oh my God, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, oh. the exit is down there. So I mean like. That's my worst fear. Man, oh, when yeah. it came down to it, the police officer, they came over like in the middle. Like people are just school, school school passing us and it just got to the point where like the guy came up the police officer came up and he started asking us questions and I don't know what happened but me and Noah started laughing <laughs> we said <laughs> and he said well I don't think this is funny I'm like well what the fuck you want us to do cry yeah <laughs> like, no no what he said and this was after we got pushed to the side and I'll be it like like unfortunately and uh you know this family is uh honestly a bunch of greedy people like honest to god greedy human beings who are teaching their children horrible examples because their vehicle was scratched <laughs> six scratches my car exploded my friend and I are obviously like injured and in shock the back of my car but just laughing. got beat up <laughs> beat up by this cop car and I'll uh, thank you for pushing me off the road but this guy definitely was he like was oh, it's already f- up like let me just kind of bash this Ooh, back bumper. Yeah. <laughs> to no, the point where my that. back bumper looked worse than the car that I crashed into That's and exploded funny. my own vehicle straight up this family of like five come out and immediately they're like ooh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> ooh. they call other people and I they don't want to talk to us I'm trying to go over to apologize <laughs> the officers like don't talk to them and I'm like I just want to apologize he's like don't do it we're standing and I think we're laughing at how much my car is damaged and how much I'm just like what like the hell straight happened? up how much I'm after the whiplash, by yes. the way. Yes. And also the joke that now there's a second van that showed up to pick up the people from this van. Uh, and they kind of look the exact same. And everyone's piling into another van. Um, and their van, they could totally drive it off, but they're going to get it towed, whatever. It's totally wow. fine. So oh, this won. officer comes over to me and is asking us questions like, I don't think that's funny. Like, you could have really hurt people. Yeah. I'm like, bro, who are you looking at? But are you looking at the, the car? Ones? Yeah. Or my car that exploded and airbag mm-hmm. went down my throat. That was probably because I was the only black person, and you never know. The that officer might have was been black, a... if you don't remember. Oh. oh. Yeah, the officer was black. <laughs> the officer I didn't was black. know that. Well, anyway. He wasn't. 
Listen, no, he was. Anyway, I don't think his partner but was. Hold but hold on, let me like finish the story. Yeah, Olivia yeah. ended up coming to like, we were downtown where Olivia lived at the time. She doesn't live there anymore, so watch out. Got to the point where she came to get me, took me home. Uh, uh, your parents did not speak to me, bro. No. No, they were they mad They probably at me. wanted to blame you. They they think that you took money from me too. Yeah. Like yeah. during the accident, you took my gold Look, bar out my pocket. Now we good, now we all Gucci. <laughs> we Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. But at that point, I was like, mm. Hello, Mr. Goat. Sorry. Mm. They were too busy being disappointed. Yeah, it's okay. You're you're great, bro. I Thanks. want you to know you're great. You're Thanks. just a kid. Thank you. That's really nice. Well, I'm a much poorer kid. What's, uh, I mean... My, my insurance, you want to know my insurance? It's yeah. $7,200 a year. It's just to drive a vehicle. That is so dumb. Why yeah. don't you Uber join me? You just because got a bird. I still have to pay the car insurance. You just got to take the bird scooter. My brother bought one for three hundred dollars. Oh, he takes it. He rides a bird to a train, and then takes a train to his job. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. That's Sherman Oaks life, I guess. Yeah. 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 Out in the valley, we got the orange line, and that's two mm. buses. Mm. I think Hell it's yeah. two buses. <laughs> Literally uh, just two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if it matters or not, but back in the seventies, my area, the valley, tried to become its own city, mm. and uh, Los Angeles made it legally, uh, kind of like what happened in Spain, where Spain uh, barred what is it, Catalan, from voting to become in- independent. Yeah. L.A. Yeah. made it illegal for us to vote to be independent because we were so much of the tax dollars um, like, and they they didn't allow you guys to secede no and they they told us that they'd give us a train and then i guess by the time i was born was like you know 15 years after it happened and they had decided on a bus line it's like a <laughs> it's like a it's like a stepfather trying to trying to make your kid happy he's like yeah we'll give you a train <laughs> yeah please don't leave us <laughs> yeah man i am I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's, it's uh, fine. I just, I you literally. You have the worst luck. Yeah, I put all my money into a 401k because I figured that no one could take it from me. Mm. Um, you know, I'm know. actually expecting an apology for Noah. I don't know if I ever got I think, one. I think I've said sorry before. I don't remember. Okay, for, like, well, I'm not going to do it now. Life? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wait on Dude, that. Dude, I'm definitely messed up. This shoulder pops like it feels uncomfortable. Like everything about it is Bro, real. I might have got scoliosis from that one. <laughs> from that? Yeah, that shit yeah. sucks. My the 23 said, years before? I don't think, yeah, I don't think that's <laughs> how scoliosis you. works. But. I mean, like, I probably got it, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Courtney has scoliosis. Oh, that's not a joke. My mom has slight scoliosis. That's so funny. She, yeah, she get, like, half the <laughs> That's joke. not a joke. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. <laughs> she get half the joke. She just got a little <laughs> pimp lean. Yeah, she got, because oh, my mom is a nail technician, so, like, when she sits, she sits, like, a certain way, and it's just, like, messed up, so her, like... Her, like, I guess, like, the way she sits, one wow. side is lifted. She's huh. been doing it for years. I kind of I kind of relate to that a little bit. My really? dad has uh, something, I don't know what it's called, but he was born and his torso is, is twisted from, like, his bottom part. That's and each of us. Is- no, 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 it's not, it's not along the spine. It's along, like, the actual ribs. Like, he's got very protruding ribs. And we all have a little bit of it. Um, but, That's protruding yeah, ribs, my, my, it, This got weird. Mm-hmm. Anyway, don't buy a car. Yeah, don't. An Uber with me. Stop. I driving. don't have money for Uber anymore. I li- right. literally all my money went into my car, and then the rest I put into my four hundred one k, and it's it's a joke. Literally. Can I say one thing about four hundred one ks that yes. I learned? Please do. He's been Please trying to me. teach me. Yeah, really. Everyone out there, four hundred one k, safest thing you could do. I don't know what the money is being invested into. It might be oil <laughs> companies, and I would hate to find that out. Essentially, Defy Media barred us from having, or me, from having a 401k until you were 21 years old. Oh. Um, so I worked there for three years. And then over the last, uh, when we were there before we shut down, I was able to put pieces of my paycheck. The main point that I want to get at is I was trying to move the money from that fund because they were they were going to just take it because the company doesn't pay for the plan anymore. But I was sent a letter because I was like, no, I'd like that money so I can put it into my own personal 401k. It was $5,584. If that $5,584 would stay there until 2050, it would be <laughs> worth $168,374. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There yep. is no world where I can turn that into that number in that amount of time unless like I win the lottery or yeah. like – it would really require magic. So if you have ten dollars, fifty dollars, you could start a four hundred one k whenever. Just put it in. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Yep, You've mutual funds. Yeah, that's something that my dad taught me early, early on was mutual funds. It's, I think it's similar. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just it's low risk. Yeah, low reward. So it's not like you're going out there like. I'm going to invest in this tech company and maybe I'll mm. make millions and most likely I'll lose all my money. It's mm-hmm. it's usually very safe and. They have mutual funds. Mm. If you don't want to invest in like war stuff mm. or oil stuff, yeah, they, they have specific it. mutual funds. Mm. So you can still be, you can still morally mm. invest if you care. That's cool. Um, I'm a look. I'm a look where my money's at. Yeah, because I have like one that's like it invests in American companies. Mm. So it's like, oh, so that, that's kind of nice. Mm. Can I borrow five dollars? 
What? <laughs> Start your 401k <laughs> right now. <laughs> that five dollars will probably be like twelve thousand. It'll be worth six dollars and twenty one hundred. I got a problem with that. Y'all didn't answer my question. Can you have five dollars? No. No. I said borrow. I'll pay it back. No, I don't believe that. <laughs> Ian is not saying anything. Ian, I wasn't listening. Ian got the money. I was. I was thinking. Nothing. I was thinking about the fact that I said twenty one hundred, and I was really embarrassed by I, that. Can I? Can the I year? Yeah, the year twenty one hundred. That's all I need. <laughs> I wish I was born in twenty one hundred. What would that be like? Did, uh, would the it would Earth be a fiery be hell. Yeah. Uh, at that point, I think the Illuminati has taken over. Mm. Um, I think my parents are robots, and mm. I live underground. Oh, okay. Possibly on the moon. Ooh, but maybe we can live underground like in the Matrix where it's just a big orgy all the time. Mm. Oh, but no, they live. Oh, I see. The people who are with the robots live above ground, though, right? Well, no, no. The above ground thing, that was in the Matrix. That wasn't real, you mm. see. Wow. Because the people lived in Zion, which was down below, because they had a war with the machines. Yeah, yeah, and they, they blocked out the they sun. They blocked out the sun, and then the machines realized they could but harvest But in the end people's... of the third one, yes. Neo goes and he plugs himself into that like weird seat. Isn't that yeah, above he, ground? He, well, he, well, no, he, he, reaches, he reaches the surface, you know, and then he crests like the clouds. It's all beautiful. And then he just goes back down. I think he dies. Oh, wow. No spoiler. No, everyone's just in that big orgy pit. Mm. All I Deep heard was orgy like three times. I heard. Uh, <laughs> you want to talk about R. Kelly again? No, <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Sorry, that's insensitive. That's cool. That's terrible. I don't even want to watch the R. Kelly one because I'm like, okay, yeah, all right, that's fine. No, like, no, you cannot watch the Michael Jackson one and not watch the R. Kelly one. I think there's a no, little I, more weight riding on riding on Michael Jackson than there is R. Kelly. Mm. Hold on, R. What? Kelly just did an interview. Hold yesterday. on, there's more weight on Michael Jackson. You think? Yeah. No, do you understand? He just like yo, R. Kelly has two new mix, uh, not mixtapes, but sex tapes slash mixtapes uh. with underage girls. Yo, uh. slash that's why mixtapes. Yeah, like he just released some like yeah. stuff. Like and that is so serious. Well, like, and, he uh, didn't oh, release it. It's serious, but I'm saying that I just don't care about R. Kelly. Uh, also, see, I think that was like what, super sealed. Like, if I, mm-hmm. that was I, a I done believe, deal. I believe all all the stuff against There's R. Kelly. Evidence. Yeah, th- yes. <laughs> the and FBI. I'm like, I'm like, okay, yeah, he's a he's a piece of. <laughs> I feel like we we kind of been new for like mm. ten years yeah. that he was that way because like sucks. back in the day with like Dave Chappelle about the the peeing oh, yeah. on that peeing is on not women. A good, that is not a good reason to believe it. Dave Chappelle <laughs> say, is not. Of, I mean, hey, Dave, I know all my truth from social comedy. Dave Chappelle told me about it. Early. Social commentary all day, but we are not gonna be like he did it because Dave Chappelle said like I pee on. Like, no, but there was there was a tape. There was a there was a there was a tape. There was a tape. There was a P tape. There was a P tape. But there's new tapes <laughs> like two. Yeah, that's so I don't And one of them, and one of them, he says. I don't even know if I, he says something about fourteen-year-old. Mm. Ooh! Oh my goodness! Yeah. You think like, he would this stop is taping? Yeah. No, you but think no. he would stop being a predator? You're really? Like, wait, I I'm hope. gonna say some predatory. Shit. Is that camera on? Nah, who, who cares? That's what right. he's, he's known for. He's known himself. for like recording everything. He's very in control. He's very like he has to have it his way. I'm telling. If you watch this, this. This freaking documentary, I told you a little bit about mm. it. What's but, it on? But uh, I watched it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I get that shit. I watched that on Facebook, and I watched all six parts in, like, two oh. days, like, over time. And when I tell you, like, beyond, I hate to say this, like, they did a really good job with it. Because, yeah. like... Beyond it just being a documentary, y'all, I was entertained. I was like, oh, my God, he did this, too? Oh, my God, how, where's the time? It's... She was 17. Aaliyah was, oh, my God, where we at? Aaliyah was in there? Aaliyah, y- y- yo, he buried Aaliyah no. at 14 years yeah. old, 16 whoa, 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 years old. Whoa, 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 what? That's what I'm saying. You got to under- and everyone knew it. And, and, everyone knew it. and everybody knew it. It came out. That's the thing. All this is real, Aaliyah. The, okay. Dude, maybe... Can, no. Maybe R. Kelly. You killed Aaliyah. That's yeah. a, you like that? That's yeah. a, okay. Oh, see, I I mean, I half like that. She was on a plane, right? Yeah, but that's Dude, the thing. She R. Kelly could have did it. She died in the dumbest way. Like, a in lot the of people end up way. dying on planes. But well, yeah, but, but they told her that it was the plane was overloaded, and they were just like, meh. Yeah. And then they got, all got on the plane, and the plane crashed because it was overloaded. Well, how do see? you overload a plane Too many people. people. Too big of an entourage. And you almost get to the Wait, point. Wait, was it a private jet? Yeah. Yeah. Like she had her makeup people uh, and all that. That yeah. makes I don't know why in my brain this whole time I was imagining Aaliyah dying on a plane flying coach. Cause you ain't cultured. <laughs> you ain't cultured. You need to know this. That's the thing. This is the thing. If you know anything about the R. Kelly situation, Aaliyah was the first one. She came out with the album when she was sixteen years old and 
freaking R. Kelly was behind it. Her first single is called Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. Oh, And damn. he wrote it. He wrote it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you, watch it, bro. You will be like beyond anything. It is All like, right. uh, watch right. that. Sh yeah, I'm interested. I'll go find the rip on Facebook. Yeah, you ain't about to watch Michael Jackson and not watch R. Kelly. You you get the that's real real. Yeah, he nah, just did a, Trapped in the interview. Closet was great. Oh, oh my was so God, great. So I good. love it. I love it. And the Trapped spoofs. in the Closet. Um, he knew that was a joke, right? When he was making that. <laughs> that's what I want to know because no, yo. Trapped in the Closet is it's hilarious. It's like 31 episodes, they're, right? They're, they're, like, no, there's some like this is the thing, y'all. Like he was serious as when he came up with it mm -hmm. but like he, he had jokes. Some, yeah, yeah comedy was he like, the one that like brought real talk into like I feel like he kind of brought the, the phrase real talk into like pop culture no that's just like real that's, talk. we all say real talk He that's the thing he said it but yeah. that's what we say all the time right but he like brought it into like I don't, I don't think maybe so. Maybe alive. no, that's the first time you heard it. That's just been like yeah. what it is. That's just something we all say. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I don't right. think he was the first one to ever do that. No, not the first one to do it, but to to make it pop culture. The first time you heard it. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Uh bottom line, uh feel free to idolize musicians, but don't don't give them a free break on anything. I think mm. that's what we I think that's what we learned mm -hmm. today. Yeah, I think yeah, most people, my issue always goes back to like, like really the main issues in my life are like, you know, the 2008 financial crisis where 92% of Americans had less than $2,000 liquid to their name and no one was arrested. So I'm all down for arresting these pedophiles, but also there's a lot of real ass world problems. He always teaches a dumb lesson. Boat, all of our water pipes, all of our bridges, all of our roads, everything, our electrical grid system, like it's all, it's all pretty rough. I want a documentary on that. You'll get... No argument from me on on you on should that. Should make it. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I'll help you. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> You'll be my cameraman. <laughs> and and Flint water still bad. Yeah, still, still bad. bad. The worst part is Flint water is there's like tens of hundreds of counties that have worse water mm -hmm. than Flint. It's Great. just that they will not test it because they know the answer. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. Our actual water safety regulations and this comes from like the 1990s. Not any sort of administration or either side matters, but it is the Clinton administration. They give just random numbers without any sort of scientific evidence what? behind it. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's really mm. what it is. I'm not talking about the Clintons or anything like that. All I'm saying is technically during the 90s, they gave certain levels of what water should be. And that includes levels of arsenic, levels of lead, things like that. And the answer is like, maybe you shouldn't have arsenic in your water. Maybe you shouldn't have to treat the lead with But chemicals. maybe it makes it taste better. You know, it does. a little arsenic. Shut it up, does. Man. That's up. why New York, no. New York water is tested at higher throw a little chlamydia levels. in there. Mm -hmm. It's a real... nice nutty flavor. Oh, my God. It's really gross. the metal in the water. Like, I, I hate to bring every joke down to reality, but New York bagels and everything is better. And, like, they claim it's the water. Oh, their their love, water has more metal in it. I love New York bagels. You can't freaking beat New York bagels. They're so good. So <laughs> Sorry, uh, we're we're about up on time. Uh, uh, final thoughts? Any any last uh, thoughts? Don't own a car. I have no money. <laughs> don't own a car. Um, with the, everybody knows I'm a Michael Jackson fan. Uh, I've not seen the documentary. Uh, Will you? Can you do Can you do us a favor and watch it? I can do a favor and watch it. Rightfully so. I feel like people's voices need to be heard. I don't believe it with all the FBI not with the FBI not having because forensic files. Forensic files. I'm gonna go back to it. But <laughs> when it comes down to it, I will watch it eventually. Right now, I'm not into it. A few people have texted me. You see it? Oh my God, I'm sick. Well, you know what? Don't text me that bull. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'll watch Who it when I'm ready. You that? Okay. De nah, I ain't gonna we say don't need to get into it. Yeah. Well, thank you guys oh so God. much. This is crazy. thank you, Noah. Of course. Thank you, Keith. It's cool. Thank you. Thank you. I, cool. I, I, feel, I feel better talking about this. I'm glad we got to talk about it. And obviously, obviously, we're still friends. Yeah, like, we are. There's, there's, there's no, there's no, you know, friction between that. I got a problem. It's me. <laughs> it ain't you. It's me. Mm. I just I, Michael Jackson is very touchy for me. Of course. Mm -hmm. it's He's all. got good moves. <laughs> Can you imagine committing crimes and then just being like, but he dances? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. Guys, okay. so right. you see his hat? That's what I won't do. Okay. I'm going to step out of here. All right, I'm guys. Gonna walk, I'm uh, going to pass this way. Don't talk about this. <laughs> is you done or is you finished? Oh, my God. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the podcast on any of the podcast apps that exist in the world. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, it's censored because of ad adpocalypse. Uh, so if you want to hear us say f penis, then you're going to have to listen to it on uh, the podcasty things. Uh, and uh, it comes out on Wednesdays on the podcast thing and on Fridays on the YouTube page. 
Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, Noah and of Keith, who's ran off. I'm gonna come back. And uh, <laughs> peace my peace. we'll see you guys next week. Peace, Bye. peace.